Folks, we told you a month ago or so, look, there's more Harbaugh NFL buzz. He's hiring an agent. I didn't think it'd come to this personally. A lot of you guys said stop talking about it, but it clearly did not go away. And there have been multiple uh, media reports in the last 27 hours or so that uh, we're going to go through, talk about what the latest is, what's true, what's false, what you need to know. Uh, I think as the hours go by, you hear nothing from Jim Harbaugh. The credibility of these rumors and sources out there uh, become more real for Michigan football fans coming off back-to-back wins over Ohio State, college football playoff appearances, Big Ten championships. We are going to talk all the Harbaugh rumors and Maybe my top 10 candidates if he were to move on to replace him as Michigan's next head football coach. All caught up in the Michigan Football Report by Chat Sports right now. We are presented by Manscaped 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year from our friends over at Manscaped. Get going with them. The best male grooming products in the game. Manscaped.com. Use that promo code GOBLUE for 20% off and free shipping. All right, folks, I am your host, James Yoder. It's the Michigan Football Report by Chat Sports, our first original uh, official first uh, of the year, although we did publish a video on Sunday the 1st, kind of uh, spillover from our Sunday night live show after Michigan's, or Saturday night live show after Michigan's wildly disappointing loss to TCU. All right, guys, Yeah, despite Harbaugh rumors, I am still excited about the future of Michigan football. Uh, if you are as well, uh, let's keep the good vibes going. We know, who, we all know, I'm going to out the person soon, but we know here at the company who didn't like the video before the TCU game, so you're going to get outed soon. Uh, but don't jinx it. Don't be the guy who jinxed it and, uh, you know, the whole whole thing that's happened over the last couple of years just goes to hell. Like the video, I'm super excited. I want to make sure you guys are rolling with me into this offseason. All right, you guys, I'm sure have heard the name John U. Bacon. Uh, you know, who would use their middle initial? Not me, of course. Uh, John U. Bacon. Um, Good author. Uh, I think he's got a little self-inflated uh, ego, given the fact that uh, he's been around Michigan football, wrote several books, Rich Rod, Jim Harbaugh, and a few others, Bo Schembechler. Um, and he knows Jim Harbaugh from growing up. So people take his word. I'm sure there's some validity to this, uh, although I do think uh, when you listen to him on the radio, I've heard a few radio hits, uh, he's one of the least... Um, I guess, um, ready for radio, ready for real media guys I've ever heard. But nevertheless, here's his information he put out there from a very good sources. I'm guessing, honestly, this is honestly Jim Harbaugh's dad or brother or something like that. The possibility of Harbaugh leaving for the NFL is real, could even happen, happen fast. Nothing final, well, obviously. Uh, but if he goes, it would be not because of money, uh, NIL, control, or just about anything regarding Michigan, but his growing frustration with college football itself. So, this is, uh, that was yesterday, right? And it is now January 3rd. So what's changed? Because now he's frustrated with college football itself because uh, Jim Harbaugh has some things to say. We're going to talk to you, show you Harbaugh's quotes here in a few minutes. But here's the other report out there that really that kind of broke the back on this thing uh, coming out. Fox Sports, uh, Bruce Feldman, who also writes for uh, The Athletic, his source says, I think it's a done deal if he gets an offer. And that's been echoed by some of the blog boys say that Harbaugh would go if he basically got any NFL head coaching offer, but did not want to uh, go through a process where he potentially could get embarrassed or hurt recruiting like did last year when he interviewed with the Vikings on National Signing Day, didn't get the job. Here are the four current three NFL head coaching jobs that are open. Carolina Panthers, Indianapolis Colts, Denver Broncos. Now, those are the three that are open, but like every year in the NFL, you typically have anywhere from seven to nine, sometimes as many as 10, 11, 12 uh, NFL jobs come open in one specific offseason. So that's available now. So those teams could technically talk to Harbaugh if they wanted to. You know, don't have to go through back channels all on the up and up. So before diving into more on these news and rumors, I'll let you guys answer this question. Will Jim Harbaugh be Michigan's head coach Next season, 2023, uh, gets kicked off first Saturday of September. Michigan with a cupcake off season again. Maybe the number one team in the country. Although losing to TCU, I actually think they might uh, be two or three. Bet Georgia ends up being preseason number one, although they will lose their quarterback. Let me know why or and will Harbaugh be Michigan's head coach next season. All right, Will Kunkel, never heard of him, but he uh, is from, where is he from, Jack? Fox, uh, is that where? Fox uh, Charlotte, right, uh, for the Charlotte Pan- or the Carolina Panthers. He tweeted this out this morning. Um, he basically says, Panthers owner David Tepper, who's not from Carolina or by any means, he is a uh, hedge fund, private equity guy from New York City area, billionaire, has had conversations about Carolina's head coaching search with Jim Harbaugh. Um, it's not an official interview, as he's saying, but the Panthers are going to uh, wait to do their formal coaching search. I think it's actually a good uh, after left of the season, which is, uh, what, five days from now, right? On Sunday is the official end of the NFL season. I think it's a good idea by the Panthers because they're kind of putting the uh, the word out there. I don't think that Jim Harbaugh was going 
going to go through an interview process with anybody. I actually think he's got a two by two matrix. And if the matrix says, don't have to interview uh, officially, you know, don't have to go through like a interview for the job, have an offer, even if it's back channel, so the teams can go through their uh, Rooney rule and hiring, you know, interviewing all these different candidates. I think that's the job he would take. So maybe that's what Tepper is doing here for the Panthers. If Jim Harbaugh leaves this program, after two straight wins of Ohio State, college football playoff, Big Ten championship, uh, and the team he's got coming back, there will be a major, major disappointment for me. I think this 2023 Michigan football team is going to be even better than the two that we saw. You just brought in potentially six starters uh, in the transfer portal, maybe three offensive linemen, although maybe a tight end, a linebacker, um, and, of course, a defensive end. Now, all those guys aren't going to start, but potentially they were starters for other Power 5 teams last year. Uh, I think it would be a big-time disappointment with Jim Harbaugh looking as maybe his best team coming back in 2023. All right, folks, we are going to talk about the open NFL jobs a little more. Also talk about who are the teams that might fire the coaches that Harbaugh could be a candidate for. And then I'll get into my candidates, my top 10 to replace Jim Harbaugh in just a moment. But three, two, one, happy new year. Kind of funny that the uh, Ohio State season started. The last play of the Ohio State season started in 2022, ended in 2023. Kind of funny when they missed that 50-yard field goal. Manscaped is wishing you a happy new year, our friends at Manscaped. Uh, the ball is officially dropped, but that doesn't mean you have to drop the ball on your balls in 2023. Whether you've had a New Year's kiss or not, the leader in below-the-waist grooming have you covered for a much-needed resolution to bring sexy back. This year, take your package to the next level with a performance package 4.0 and other premium wet goods you can take in the shower with manscape performance package has a signature lawnmower 4.0 which i always use the advanced skin safe technology of the lawnmower 4.0 reduces cuts and nicks on your delicate parts it also comes equipped with a 400k led spotlight you give shine that light on your uh, your stuff down below even if the lights in your shower are a little dim join the 7 million men worldwide who trust manscape get our exclusive offer 20 percent off Promo code GOBLUE, 20% off your Manscaped order and free shipping. Manscaped.com. Use promo code GOBLUE. Link down in the comments and in the description of today's video. Go blue with no spaces, by the way. Manscaped.com. Promo code GOBLUE. So here's what Jim Harbaugh said. The day after the college football playoff, um, he says, I think that people, they're talking about, oh, Jim, NFL rumors, NFL rumors. I think that people who that think that we've done a good job and are pleased with the job we've done here at Michigan, they're going to be very happy to learn that we will be back enthusiastically coaching the Wolverines in 2023. The quote also goes on to say, uh, those people who, uh, who don't think we did a good job, they'll be disappointed to know that we'll be enthusiastically coaching the Wolverines in 2023. Well, if you take the job of the NFL, Jim, you will not be coaching uh, the Wolverines in 2023. Last year, he put out a statement, uh, I guess through Adam Schefter, Michigan grad Adam Schefter, saying that uh, uh, I told Ward Manuel that my itch for the NFL is gone. I don't have it. I, I gave it a shot. I didn't get the job. And I will be at Michigan for as long as he has me. Has me. That was, uh, you know, 11 months ago, almost to the day Jim Harbaugh put out that statement. Um, and now we've got these rumors back, and I don't think there's uh, any reason to dismiss them because if they weren't real, Jim Harbaugh would probably make a statement uh, in some regard just saying the NFL rumors are crap, but he has not done that, and I think Michigan's going to suffer potentially the same issues they had the last offseason, a bunch of ruffle feathers in the staff, and then maybe a hurt recruiting class again because these NFL rumors are not going to stop unless Jim Harbaugh just signs a massive contract, which maybe that's what we're doing here. Maybe this is all just a ploy to get him or his assistant coaches or hell. Maybe the NAL collectives, more money from the team. All right, let's take a look at the coaches in the hot seat. This is from Chat Sports. NFL extraordinaire Tom Downey, coaches that he thinks most likely would lose their job. Now, these are in a particular order of likelihood to not likelihood. Cliff Kingsbury over at the Cardinals. I don't know if that's a situation Harbaugh would be interested in. Just lost their stadium a few days ago. Lovey Smith, Texans. Again, uh, Cardinals have a good quarterback. I don't know if it's Harbaugh's kind of quarterback. Texans absolutely do not. Saints don't as well. First year coach for them. I'm not sure if they fire him, but nevertheless, the Browns. I think that'd be a good, good job. I'll tell you about uh, why in a second for uh, Jim Harbaugh. The Washington Commanders. Okay, cool. That's always been a disaster job. I doubt Harbaugh would be interested in that one. Here's what gets in interesting. Uh, coaches that have been at their jobs, a few of them, uh, for a while that just haven't got over the hump. Number six there for, for uh, in particular, Mike McCarthy with the Cowboys. 
they could end up being the number one seed in the playoffs. But if they lose, uh, if they don't get it and they lose that first round game, oh gosh, might be some uh, calls to fire Mike McCarthy after three co years in uh, Dallas. Josh McDaniels with the Raiders, Todd Bowles, the Buccaneers. Will Tom Brady be there? Who knows? Both those guys, first year coaches. Mike Vrabel. This is one I thought was interesting. I didn't think Mike Vrabel was in the hot seat, but you know, if uh, they don't make the playoffs, they lose to the Jags on Sunday. Maybe they move on. We'll see. And Arthur Smith with the Atlanta Falcons. Here's my take on it. If Jim Harbaugh leaves for the NFL, he should pick a storied franchise, right? Don't go to the Panthers or the Falcons or even the Saints. Go to a franchise that historically has won or is a, a brand. Like Michigan's a brand in college football. Um, I don't know who's not a brand. Wisconsin isn't really a brand. They don't draw on it. You know, oh, my gosh, the Wisconsin game's on. That's a big-time school. Uh, some people might, but I don't think the average college football or just sports fan thinks Wisconsin. That's kind of what I think the Saints are, the Wisconsin of, uh, of this uh, conversation. He should be one that's a storied franchise that is ready to win now. I'll give you my top five uh, potential targets for Carbaugh. I think you should consider if he goes, which I don't think he should in a second. But, guys, we're approaching 26,000 subscribers here on the channel, about 25,500. So if you want – up to date, up to the minute. Hell, if there's any breaking news that you need to know, we will do a video on the spot. Uh, this is your spot for all off season long. We've done a video uh, up until yesterday. We did a video something like 120 some days in a row. Yesterday, I didn't do one. I just needed a breather away from all the craziness of the 2020 season, uh, 2022 season. But make sure you subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash Michigan TV. We'll be putting out content on Harbaugh as long as uh, there is um, you know, content to put out there if he does not make a decision. All right, let's take a look at the jobs I think he should take. If these jobs were open, which I doubt all of them are, I actually think the Cowboys, the Titans, uh, probably the Browns, I don't, I don't really actually think four or five will end up being on there, but if they were, because those are the coaches on potentially the hot seat, Dallas Cowboys. They've got uh, a quarterback that they've got locked up for a long-term deal. They've got uh, their storied franchise, and they are ready to win with the right coach. They would be the absolute top option for Jim Harbaugh if uh, he came in. He could win a World or a Super Bowl there in year one. In the Epis Colts, I don't actually think other than the top five potential draft pick and location is that he's been with that program. Uh, he was in their ring of honor. He played for him, led him to an AFC title game. Uh, that's why I put him there as my kind of number two. The Las Vegas Raiders. Um, the lure of the fact that he coached there back in the, the day, his first coaching job after playing, and then they have a talented roster, although I'm not necessarily sure if they're ready to win if they move on from Derek Carr. The Cleveland Browns just signed Deshaun Watson. No matter what you think of him, the Browns have an absolutely very talented roster and have kind of underperformed uh, over the last few years. Got rid of Baker Mayfield, then Watson missed 10, 12 games this year. And then Tennessee Titans, with uh, with their running back, with the kind of mentality they have, very much of what Michigan, they're kind of like the NFL version of Michigan, them and the 49ers. Uh, that would be my number five option for Harbaugh to consider if they were available. Now let's take a look at potential candidates uh, for the Michigan football head coaching job. Um, Number five is Mike Hart on this one. I think that Mike Hart would get a look from Michigan if Jim Harbaugh moves on for a couple of reasons. Um, he has got uh, associate head coaching job experience, kind of like the number two on the staff when he's at Indiana. He's clearly done a great job with Michigan in the running game. And then uh, you know, with, with Hassan Haskins, Blake Corm, Diamond Edwards. Now recruiting, I think, has actually been a struggle. I don't think Mike Hart's recruiting has been uh, where I expected to be. Development, absolutely. And he falls into the bucket of a Michigan man. He's in his late 30s. I would put him at number five, just given all the potential out there. I have a number four. All right, and then we'll jump into five candidates uh, in a moment here that are outside of my top five that are maybe more pie in the sky. Dave Aranda, uh, head coach at Baylor. They won the Big 12 in 2021. Not necessarily uh, a top team, top 10, top 15 team this year for the majority of it, but he is still a very well-respected defensive coach, and I think he could run a similar program to Jim Harbaugh and is a, and is a reputable recruiter as well. Matt Campbell, his uh, stock has really fallen off. They had a really poor year at uh, Iowa this year, but he was a top candidate for the last couple years for major college football head coaching job. Didn't strike while the iron was hot, but Matt Campbell, he didn't forget how to coach. So if you like Campbell a year ago, you should still like him now. I, I do think if they went outside of uh, Michigan football coaching staff and went for an outside hire, he would be among the top two or three candidates that they would talk to. Runs a similar program to Harbaugh, but very gritty. Uh, they put a lot of effort into the strength and conditioning, and if he can get the kind of recruits and the NIL and transfer opportunities that come with Michigan, he could potentially be the next star coach in college football. All right, number two, Sharon Moore. Now, We'll see if this actually comes to fruition, but a lot of people are saying that Sharon Moore is the number one candidate for this job. I don't necessarily think that he is because he's never been a head coach. And up until a couple of years ago, he was just a tight ends coach at Michigan. 
came in, and you could say him taking over the offensive line and co-coordinator, who's kind of like the secondary coordinator to Josh Gaddis, maybe the primary coordinator of the offense this year, is that he's one of the most successful coordinators in Michigan football history. Okay, you could say that. Now, he wasn't the sole guy, so he doesn't get as much credit. Um, but his transformation of the offensive line, as also as the offensive line coach, has really put him in that position to be a hot coaching candidate in the future, whether Michigan or elsewhere. Never been a head coach. Uh, only been a coordinator for two seasons and really a primary one for one, so definitely inexperienced. But if you think that guys like Blake Corum or Mike Morris or Jamon Green or maybe even DJ Turner, if there's all these guys who might go of Harbaugh if they go outside the program, might stay for one last run with the band and – the rest of the staff, Jesse Minter, Mike Hart, uh, et cetera, stay on with uh, even Ben Herbert, the strength and conditioning coach. If they were to stay on with Sharon Moore, then potentially him at number two, that would make the best in internal hire for Michigan. Number one, people are going to call it pie in the sky. But I will say that um, I know, uh, you know, Sources close to the Peyton family, let's just say that, have told me uh, in the past year that um, if there, you know, if Sean ever coached in the in the college football. Um, that Michigan would be his top choice, maybe his only choice. Uh, their son, he goes to TCU, ironically, but is a massive Michigan fan, uh, Sean Payton's son. And uh, and there's just some some you know intrigue with that. Uh, always been a fan, always been interested in him. I think he should probably be the head, top head coach for maybe his other dream job, which is the Dallas Cowboys, if they come up for uh, for having a coaching opening. But those are my five, five candidates. Uh, Mike Hart, Dave Aranda, Matt Campbell, Sean Moore, and then Sean Payton, former Saints coach, been out of the game for a year. We'll see how it shakes out, but Michigan absolutely should make a run at Payton to see if he wants to make a switch to college football. Let me know, guys, who your choice would be to replace Jim Harbaugh as Michigan's next head coach if Harbaugh decides to go to the NFL. Here are those names again that we just talked about. If it's Mike Hart, go ahead and give me a five down in the comments. If it's Dave Aranda from Baylor, a four. Type three if it's Matt Campbell. Two if it's Michigan offensive coordinator, offensive line coach Sharon Moore. Or if you think former Saints and Super Bowl winning head coach Sean Payton is the next man in Ann Arbor, uh, go ahead and type one. I'm going to kind of see how you guys are feeling. Talk about the results on an upcoming show. Other possible candidates, uh, we've talked about Bill O'Brien in the past, uh, head coach at the Texans, led them to a couple playoff appearances. Also, uh, I think three actually, also head coach at Penn State, took over Penn State after the Joe Pa, uh, Jerry Sandusky scandal, and had them only two seasons, had them winning by the end of year two, um, had really one of the great turnarounds in college football over the last you know two, three decades. Chris Kleiman, Big 12 champions, didn't obviously – Perform well against Alabama, but he runs a very similar offense and defensive philosophy to what Michigan's done under Harbaugh the last couple of years. Harold Goodwin, not a name you're probably familiar with, but run game coordinator, assistant head coach with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, very close to Tom Brady. Mark Stoops of Kentucky, down year for him, excellent recruiter, and has stayed consistently winning, uh, certainly mo most years above 500 in the SEC at Kentucky, maybe one of the tougher things to do. But how about this name, Matt LaFleur, with what's going down in uh, Green Bay and some butting of heads over the last couple seasons with uh, with Aaron Rodgers. If Rodgers moves on, could it maybe Matt LaFleur after four years as the Packers coach, one of the most successful coaches in the NFL through three seasons, now into his fourth season, they're going to be right on the cusp if they beat the Lions to make the playoffs. If they don't, right, could he say, hey, now to make a switch, Aaron Rodgers might move on. He is from the state of Michigan, uh, reportedly a big Michigan football fan himself and attended college in the state. All right, guys, those are my top 10 candidates for the uh, job for Michigan football. You know, I think Michigan should consider Sharon Moore in my car, but I do not do not think that with where this program's at. Guaranteed to be a top three program going into the season next year. J.J. McCarthy, Diamond Edwards, Will Johnson. You are ready to have a winning season. They should not just hand the ball over, hand the, the reins over to Mike Carter, Sharon Moore without exploring other potential out there. I am sick of the Jim Harbaugh rumors. I wish this didn't come up. I'm disappointed with the team he is coming back and all the promises he's made that this is a rumor again and he is, you know, seemingly considering moving on to from Michigan after eight seasons. Let me know if you guys are sick of it. Comment me down below, and we'll keep you up to date on all the Harbaugh rumors here on our YouTube channel, but also you can follow me over at Twitter. It's at James Yoder. Anything we hear, anything that uh, I've got, I won't wait to put in a video, at least put some of the information out on Twitter. So follow me there. It's at James Yoder. As soon as we know more on the Harbaugh, we will get it back to you. But if we uh, go a day or so, we'll put out a video tomorrow talking about uh, departures and guys sticking around with the Michigan football program, NFL, and some transfer portal decisions that you may have already seen. It is the Michigan Football Report by Chat Sports. Till I see you guys next time. Go Blue.